Should you risk your job to care for a sick parent? It's a tough choice that can suddenly face just about anyone. Well, eight states have recently taken steps to protect workers from job loss if they take an unpaid leave to help out a parent. Jerry Fisher talks about the advantages. Oh, fine, thank you. Judith Squilanti is a vice president at one of the nation's largest engineering firms. She knows at first hand how important family leave can be. Both uh, my father and two years later my mother uh, was seriously ill and it required me to, um, to spend some a certain amount of time with them at the hospital. Judith was lucky in one respect. Her company has a liberal family leave policy. One thing these employees don't have to worry about is whether they'll have a job to come back to if they have to take a leave to care for a sick parent. No. Now, Dade County has passed an ordinance making family leave mandatory for every company that employs over 50 people or that does business with the county. Judith's company thinks the policy makes for better, more loyal employees. Harry Duncanson's postcard company is one of only four survivors in a field almost overrun by foreign competition. His company offers many benefits to employees, but he says mandatory family leave will be disastrously expensive for struggling companies. If you force them to do it before they can afford to do it, perhaps the company won't be around to have any jobs at that point. The man who led the ordinance to an 8-1 to victory at the county commission disagrees strongly. Not one person not one instance was shown to us where a, a good family leave policy like this would cost the employer one penny. Hawkins says that's because it's more expensive to hire and train a new employee than to hold on to a good one. He adds that many cities and counties across the nation have expressed interest in the ordinance and some may soon be following suit. For NBC News, I'm Jerry Fisher. Dade County's family leave ordinance went into effect Monday. It also protects maternity leave and mandates time off to take care of other family members. Stock market was mixed today at the close at Dow Jones Industrials down 1.79, but gainers led decliners 9 to 8. Trading today was heavy with 190 million shares changing hands. It is kickoff time for the NCAA tournament up in Milwaukee. We'll get a preview right after this. The average American mother has 2.3 kids, one pet lifts 630 pounds, runs 17 errands, and spends 1.5 hours a day in a motor vehicle. Right now, your Chrysler Plymouth dealers are offering Plymouth Voyager with a family value package for under $14.9. For those who understand that every day is Mother's Day. Real advantages for the real world at your Chrysler Plymouth dealer today. slow roast in this kitchen every day and now you can get our roast beef sandwich with real aged melted cheddar so come by hardy's now and get our new roast beef and cheddar sandwich for only a dollar 89 are you ready for some real food class miss harris has a cold this is miss young your substitute all the virtues of milk milk helps supply protein for strong muscles Carbohydrate to keep you up and running. Milk is attractively slim on calories, and it has B complex vitamins to help steady your nerves. Miss Harris just called. Should be out two weeks. Milk. It does a body good. Lots of games between here and those uh, final four, yeah. And we are on top of the Razorbacks road to the final Good. four from day one, guys. Tomorrow is the reunion of two old friends. For 12 years, Scott Edgar was Nolan Richardson's right-hand man. Now he and his Murray State team stand in the way of the Razorbacks' advancement in the NCAA tournament. Here's more with Steve Sullivan just in from Milwaukee.
Usually at this juncture, the day before the game, the focus is on the players, the matchups like Big O versus Popeye Jones in the middle. But today, like it or not, the coaches are the center of attention. Right now, you may be the hottest young coach in America, and uh, uh, it'll be a, a great day, uh, I guess, tomorrow at 11.30 when we hook up and try to play a basketball game. And we talked throughout the year, and, and, and every time it was, it was encouragement. And, and at, at some point in this season, it's, we started to say, we're going to play, play each other, which was about six weeks ago. And you can talk about as much as you want, but until Sunday when you see it on the screen, that's when it kind of hits you right in your face. And, uh, you know, I know one thing. My kids will compete. They'll be ready to play. Uh, Lee and I kind of figured it out last week that we were going to play Coach E. Um, you know, we were hoping that it wouldn't come down to this, but, you know, it's, it's a ball game. Anything can happen, though. If they had to put my mother on Murray State, you know, I had to go out and try to win. That's the type of person I am. <laughs> Edgar and Richardson, the Razorbacks, the Murray State Racers. Tip-off time tomorrow is 11.35. I'll have more from the Bradley Center in Milwaukee, Wisconsin at 6 o'clock. Steve Sullivan, Channel 4 Eyewitness Sports. Thank you, Steve O. We look forward to your visit at 6, and the UCA Bears look forward to a win in the NAIA National Championship Tournament this afternoon. It's their first game. Right now, the Bears with a comfortable first-half lead over Charleston, West Virginia. Six minutes left in the first half. And here's a fairly dramatic change just enacted by the NFL. This just came down on the wire. No more instant replay. After what? six years, what? after six years, they say, that's it. We think it takes too much time, so they've stopped the use of the instant replay. I don't even like going to a live game because I'm constantly looking for the instant replay. I'm sure televisions will still use it, but for the, the sake of penalties, they have stopped the use of the instant They're going back to just flat out trusting the referees. Right. No. And we will see. We'll see the effects. And the games will indeed become quicker, but we'll just see the effects. Well, it was played that way for years. I mean, you got to know that. You know, see what happens well, now. Thank All you, right, Wendell. See you back later. Pumping up the volume, it might be dangerous. We'll tell you why when we come back. Nissan's big dealing days mean big savings at your Nissan dealer. I mean, really big. Come on, huge. They're making huge deals on every Sentra, Maxima, Stanza, and tough Nissan trucks. Hey, we said this deal is big. I mean, really big. I mean, huge. So take advantage of the huge savings on our special inventory. See your local Nissan dealer now, because this event is going, going, gone. This time of year makes you think of two things. Big toys. TSS and Country 96 Radio and KARK Channel 4 present the Motorsports Monster Truck Racing Series. Coming this Friday and Saturday nights at 8 to the Pine Bluff Convention Center. As the four promotions top monster trucks in side-by-side -side wheel standing monster truck racing action. Van Stunt Van Gary Beal is the Van Bomber and the hottest act in town. Plus pro and amateur flat track riders competing on bikes and quads. Plus demolition derby drivers smash it out. The Motorsports Monster Truck Racing Series is coming. coming, coming. Well, I, I don't know why you got that machine. Personal response system. You've done fine since Bill passed on. Well, I like being on my own, and Lifeline helps. If you fell again, how would it help? I wear a button, I touch it, and it calls for help. Well, it's your money. Eunice, it's a gift from my kids. Oh. And it's the one those hospitals picked. What? Lifeline. Before you sign up for a personal response system, call Lifeline today. 80 years of GMC truck experience combines power with great mileage in our Sonoma pickup. With electronic fuel injection, Sonoma's standard 2.5 liter engine delivers precise fuel control for power and outstanding fuel economy. And now, Sonoma offers you even more. GMC truck, the strength of experience. See your South Arkansas GMC truck dealer today.